All right, Hans Temisto, fighthype.com here with Jose Benavidez Sr., one of my favorite people. How you feeling, man? Feeling good, man. Thank you so much for the invite, man. Really appreciate it. Yeah, of course, man. Of course, you know, fans love to hear from you, man. So um, so let's let's jump right into it. So, you know, the past few days, um, I've I've been um hanging out with um Demetrius Andrade. You know, he's he's getting his work in, he looks very, very sharp. And, you know, he's just, like, curious as to why. Well, he's saying that the, the holdup between the fight between him and your son is on you guys' side. So he wants to know, like, what exactly is the holdup? Well, let me put it to you this way. Who do you think uh, uh, wanted this fight, him or us? I mean, it's... You don't know? It's, it's, you know, it's, it's, David, David, the world champion, you know, uh, Canelo has the uh, the interim world champion and we were negotiating with Mungia and we were very close and he decided not to do it. And then we asked for Bubu, you know, we asked for him. He didn't ask for David. We asked for him, you know, and now he's saying that he's waiting for us to sign when we ask. Come on, bro. You know, I mean, it's not what he wants, you know. Well, 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 I guess I guess what I would push back and say that, you know, like if if you guys were the ones that are just like, you know, you asked for um, you asked for for Boo Boo. But um, but Boo Boo is also just like, OK, like I'm, everything on my side is good. But he just wants to like know, like, why is it taking so long for you guys to like sign? And put that's, it together? that's what that's what I'm saying. Just to clarify, we asked for him. We're done. We signed first. We We signed that deal, you know, to fight him. We're waiting for him. I don't know why he's saying that he signed and he's waiting for us. We're waiting for him. We were the ones that sent him the contract to sign it. Why the fuck would we send him a contract if we didn't want to fight him? Does it make sense? Got it. Okay. So, so and now, and, and now I just want to make sure that he did sign it because I haven't heard anything. So we're, we're going to fuck him up now. So that's good that he signed the contract. But But just to clarify, you know, it, we sent him the contract. It's not like he sent us a contract, you know. Got you. So, so on your end, everything is signed. You're good it's to ready go. Ready to go. We're just waiting for him. So, whatever he's trying to say or whatever, I'm hoping that it's true that he did sign the. I haven't heard, you know, if he signed the contract or not. Uh, I I heard that we're 100 percent ready to go on December. Uh, so I'm I was imagining that he did sign. So I'm not gonna ask if he signed or not. If the, they're saying that we're ready to go. So, um, but just to let everybody know that we sent him a contract. It's not that he sent us a contract. Gotcha. Well, he, I, I do know that he was just telling me that he's um he's good to go on his end. Like, everything looks good. But well, know, if he's ready to go, let's go. Let's make this happen. You know, so, so, we're, we're just waiting for him to sign that contract, you know. So, and if he signed the contract, hey, thank you for signing that contract. Let's make it. Let's go. So so the fight is going to is it's supposed to happen sometime in December basically. Yeah. Got it. So, you know, when when you look at Demetrius, man, um undefeated guy, former two division champ, extremely skilled, um what do you think about him overall as a, as a fighter? You know, um I always said he's a very intelligent fighter, a very dangerous fighter. And that's why he's undefeated, because nobody wants to fight him. Canelo didn't want to fight him. The Charles didn't want to fight him. I wonder why, you know? I know why, because he's a very dangerous fighter. You know, he's really good at what he does. And uh, that's why he's undefeated. They're not, they didn't want to uh, risk and take a, a chance to, to fight him, you know? Uh, like us right now, you know? If we beat him, what do, what do we win? Where do we go? If he beats David, that's a fucking big win for him, right? But so you we have nothing to win. You you don't think beating um Demetrius is a is a big big statement, man? Nah, you know they're gonna say, oh, he's too old. Oh, David's too strong for him. Oh, we knew that he was just a hype, you know. But if he beats David, he's fucking a superstar, you know. Now he he wins a lot, you know. But tell me, what do we win? I mean, to me personally, I think if you guys were to beat Boo Boo, that's a 
That's a gigantic win. I think that that would probably be the best win in David's career, man. I think no, so. I I think uh, like I said, you know, I don't think he offers a lot. Um, but we're willing to fight. Don't get me wrong, we're gonna fight him, you yeah. know. But I wish we had the respect. I know that he's a, a very dangerous fighter. I know he's very slick. He he's an awkward fighter. You know he's good, but they're not gonna give us the credit, man. And I wish they would give us the credit. You know, um, to beat him. You know, hopefully people give us the gives us the credit. You and I know that he is a really good fighter. Yeah. Does it make sense? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, when when the interview first started a little bit, you was just like, "All right, we're we're gonna fuck him up." So you know, like, how exactly do you see the fight? playing out in yeah your... you know at the end of the day you know we, we gotta make uh history we gotta look impressive we can't just win by decision you know you know david he's a fucking warrior he's an animal he's the mexican monster you know how he fights we're gonna fucking come and and, and beat him and we we have to make a statement you know uh so in our minds is that we have to stop him we have to look impressive we can't just beat him you know it's not an easy task but we are going to come 100% ready to make that statement and uh, to show the world that David's in another level. And uh, we got to prove ourselves. We got to continue proving ourselves, you know. And I, I believe in my mind you have to have the mentality of a warrior and, you know, that you are going to win, you know. And that's in our minds. And we're training super hard. We're super focused. And I haven't even put any videos because I didn't want to scare them away. David's been training. Memo Heredia has been here for almost two weeks. You know, David, after his last fight with Caleb Plant, he took like a week off. He came back to the gym and he uh, uh, kept maintaining, you know. But like I said, I didn't want to put any videos. I didn't want to scare him away. So now he wants to think that he's the one that's waiting for us. Go ahead and keep thinking that, you know. But we made the decision who to fight. We chose him. When when you look at Demetrius and and obviously you guys have not fought him yet or anything like that, but you know you've seen him fight a lot. So just using the eye test, man, do you think he's a better fighter than Caleb Plant? I don't think he's a better fighter. They're two different fighters. David, uh, uh, Caleb Plant showed a lot of balls, a lot of heart, and you know he throws a lot of combinations, keeps his distance very well. And uh, his IQ is super good. I'm not saying that Demetrius doesn't have an IQ, good IQ. He, no, he does. But to me, he's just an awkward fighter. That's why people don't want to fight him. He lunches in, and, you know, I think uh, Caleb Plant has a better footwork than him to move around and, and to get away from David. Uh, Boo Boo throws punches from everywhere. He lunches in with a lot of hooks, you know? So uh, I've been studying him, and 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 paying really good attention and and you know to be honest those awkward fighters are very dangerous you know because you can't really figure them out but but i believe that david's stronger and it's bigger than uh booboo and uh it's another test that we have to go through uh but he has super good qualities and like i said you know they're two different fighters uh and and we'll see the day of the fight who's the better fighter i mean this is just to make sure, this is going to be a pay per view, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a pay per view fight. Got it. Um, I mean, look, this is a, I mean, for me, I'm I'm really excited about this fight, man. I I really want to see this fight. Um, how how is David feeling about um? I know I spoke to him like a few weeks ago in Washington, but like, how is he feeling about like, you know, he's going from he went from really struggling to um to land a big fight and then. It's like now they're coming like back to back to back. You know, he got Kayla Plant. He's going to get Andre. <laughs> like, how's he feeling about everything? Man? See, that he's feeling super happy, super excited, super motivated. And see, this is what we got to do. We got to fight everybody, anybody, you know, fighters that people don't want to fight. We got to face everybody. And that's what we're here, you know, and that's why uh, we're uh, uh, been active a little bit. You know, we've been uh, willing to fight anybody, anybody. We are willing to fight at 175, 168, Bebo, Betabir, whoever, in order to prove ourselves, you know? So at the end of the day, he's only 26 years old, and I feel that it's his time, you know, to show the world that he's the best at 168. 
and he, he'll be the best at 175. And to prove that, we have we have to fight nothing but the best at 168 and 175. Do you view um do you view Demetrius as I want to say like like where do you kind of rank him in the division right now? Like is he like number three, two, I, I, one? I, where do you put him? Fuck, I, I him and Bet the Beer. I rank Bet the Beer at number one, B Ball at number two. No, no, uh, I'm the best I'm, fucking part. No, I'm talking about um Andre. Like, where would you put Andre at one sixty eight? Oh, like, Andre. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Um, at this point, I think it's Canelo, David, okay. and I would put him because he's undefeated, number three, and Caleb Plant number four, and from then on, I don't know, you know, but I think he's up there. You know, I think he's the number three guy. You know. Uh, I don't even know how he's ranked. I haven't checked that. I missed that. But I think he should be ranked number three or number four, somewhere around there. So, well, well, that my the ranking was just like something that I wanted to hear from, just in your opinion. But, but then, I, yeah, I, I think I, I have I have to ask you this because you know fans will hear this interview and then they'll be like, well, if he puts um Demetrius number three and then he puts Caleb Plant number four, but you said Caleb Plant is a better fighter than Demetrius. They'll be like, well, what is he saying? So, could like, kind yeah, of. Yeah, no, but what you got to understand, Caleb Plant has two losses. Caleb Plant, you know, we, we, uh, he lo lost to David. Demetrius and Andrade, you got to give him a chance. He's an undefeated fighter. I just said they're two different fighters. He's an awkward fighter, but I believe that, uh, in my opinion, I think that Caleb Plant, we fought Caleb Plant. I, we haven't fought uh, Demetrius Andrade, so I don't know where the fuck he's at. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. I mean, that's the reason I'm saying that because we haven't fought him. But I will put him there because he's an undefeated fighter. You know, he has a good record, and Caleb Plant has two fights, and that's the reason I'm putting him because Caleb Plant has two uh, losses already. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. but we won't know until the day of the fight. You know, who's better? You know, if we knock him out in two rounds, I was right. Hey, if we don't knock him out, then hey, what the? You know, then he's he is better than Caleb Plant. You know. So I, I see what you're saying. Um, like what would you say is the the number one thing that probably I don't really want to say worries because I'm not sure if you guys worry about anything, but like what's like the number one thing that worried you about Demetrius? Because I'm I'm sure fans would say the number one thing about your son is that he's gonna put a ridiculous amount of pressure and throw a bunch of punches. So like what's like the number one thing you have to worry about about Andrew? Well, to be honest with you, I'm not going to worry about, I'm not worrying about nothing. I have respect for the guy. He's an undefeated fighter. I'm not underestimating Boo Boo, you know? But yeah. to be honest, there's nothing that that I worry about. You know, to be honest with you, does he have a good uppercut? Does he have a, a good a body shot? Does he have a good, a straight left? I mean, He's a good fighter. He's a, he has a lot of good things that but I don't think I don't see nothing as spectacular. I don't see nothing uh like out of this world, you know. Uh he's a champion. I mean, he's a undefeated fighter. He um uh he's been there with a lot of good fighters. Uh and and we'll see, you know, the day of the fight. You know, we'll adjust to whatever he has. Like I said, we're not underestimating Booba. We're training like we're fighting the best at 168 if we're fighting a champion, a world champion, you know, uh, I'm going to give him that, you know, uh, and we'll have to adjust during the fight uh, as rounds go by. And uh, we have to make those adjustments. And if we don't, you know, I think we're in big trouble. Yeah.